In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up a super simple automatic Certus Quartz farm inside of Applied Energistics. So the aim of this is just so you can automatically get it and you don't have to keep mining it yourself. And you can also uh, connect this up to some kind of processing unit if you want to automate stuff like the inscription, um, that kind of thing. So it's very, very easy to do. And this is basically the, the basic setup of it. But you can go ahead and connect this up to your setup um, how you want to. So first of all, I have a creative energy cell here. And this is just to power it. You can connect this to any kind of power source here. I next up have the light blue ME smart cables and this is going to be for the system to kind of work. So I've connected this up here and what I've done here is I've gone ahead and put a barrel up here. The barrel is so that I can um, connect, collect the items up and also this is so that it knows what item to sort of withdraw from the system. It's often good to kind of have this uh, farm sort of uh, disconnected from other storage so it doesn't get a bit confused. Um, but, you know, it can work either way. But basically here we've got the barrel and connected to that we've got the ME storage bus. And then we've also got that connected to the smart cables. Now over here we have the annihilation plane. And this is basically going to destroy an item. And then down here we have the flawless budding Certus Quartz. You can use any kind of um, budding uh, Certus Quartz here. So you could use, you know, the damaged one, chipped, flawed or flawless it's just if you use the flawless one that one is going to um regen it's just going to regenerate infinitely and you won't have to replace it whereas with the other ones you're going to have to replace it to get these ones here they're a lot easier uh you can just mine them with silk touch to get this one you do need a different item but essentially whatever block you have just place it down here and next we're going to have the, the annihilation plane connected all up so the next thing here is inside of this barrel you want to go ahead and place the certus quartz crystal um, and basically what this is going to do is when you are able or when this annihilation plane is able to collect a certus quartz quartz crystal it's going to break the item in front of it uh, so essentially when the cluster here or when it grows into some kind of cluster it's going to go ahead and then break it but it won't break it too early it will only break it when this is available so if i place this here you can see it instantly breaks it and um you see if i spam it there it's going to break it and it's going to go ahead and get you the certus quartz crystals here which you could then go ahead and use some kind of um you know export system or something here to go ahead and then refine it and turn it into whatever material you want this is the most basic setup. You could go ahead and have, um, you know, multiple of these here. Uh, you could probably just have like a line of them here if you just put this all up like this. Um, I imagine you can do this, connect it all out here. And then have just multiple here ready to go. Yeah, don't do that. Um, yeah, I imagine you can just set it up like this. And then you can have just like a... A farm of it but it's a very easy to set up and this is kind of the easiest way to go ahead and do it there are probably workarounds if you can't get any of these items but um yeah that's basically how you can do it so if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe comment down below that it helped let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about this game or anything else in particular thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one